Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin and I post new videos every single Saturday with a few sprinkled in between. And I post videos mainly about eating disorder recovery and intuitive eating. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would love for you to click onto that subscribe button down below and become part of our little family. But for today, we are bringing back one of your favorites, my most highly requested video always, which are my what I eat in a week videos. It is currently 9.30 and I have a client in half an hour. So I think what I'm gonna do is make a hot, delicious beverage right now. And then we'll make some breakfast after my call so that I'm not rushing or, you know, feeling any sort of sense of anxiety. So yeah, I think I'm gonna make a cup of tea. Look at how pretty this mug is. These are from Bodem and I just, I love them. So cute. And the tea that I'm gonna have this morning is an herbal tea. It's peppermint and creamy vanilla. It's so good. I have been loving experimenting with new teas and new flavors and things like that. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. I'll see you soon for breakfast. All right, besties, I just finished my first client call of the day. I love my clients, they're the best. But it is time for breakfast and I have a bunch of leftover homemade bread that I made. She doesn't look the best, but I swear she tastes good. So I think I'm going to toast up one of these slices. And as many of you know, I go through phases with food, um, especially eggs. I either love them or I hate them and I really want some dippy eggs. So we'll do that. And maybe make some bacon too, like a classic breakfast. I don't know, it sounds really good. So let's do it. Gradually, the next day or so, it's going to turn cold again. And indeed, bad news, I'm afraid. Heard you were walking around Hempstead Heath. Well, I was out in Camden Town. You got your life all planned. And I'm just trying to sort the day off. Heard you got yourself. This is exactly what I felt like this morning. Oh my goodness. Let's check that cook on the egg. If I can just stab it open. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my God. Bread is so freaking good. Hello friends. It is later on in the day and today I am so tired. <laughs> I'm so sleepy and part of me definitely wants to take a nap, but I know if I nap, I'm not going to sleep tonight. So I'm awake and I've decided to prep some things for dinner or for lunch. I haven't decided. I think it's dinner, but we'll just have to see. But I just sliced up a bunch of tomatoes and these are the little pink tomatoes from Costco. They're so good. But I cut up a bunch of tomatoes, some bell peppers, as well as onions. And I'm going to add in some of this minced garlic over here. And then I'm going to roast them in the oven, probably for around 30 minutes or so. And then I'm gonna add them to some chicken broth and we're gonna have a delicious tomato soup. But yeah, we'll have this for dinner or for lunch. We'll just have to see where the day takes us, but the veggies are prepped and that's what's important for now. Oh my goodness, friends. The veggies literally just came out of the oven. I don't know if you can hear them. That sizzle though. And now I'm just going to transfer the veggies into a pot and I'm going to add some chicken broth and then we'll let it cook for a little bit. All right, besties, I finally made a decision for lunch. I had some leftover chicken, so I just put it on some naan and I added some tzatziki with some lettuce and also a little bit of red onion. I'm so low energy right now. I don't know what's up. Something, something's off. Maybe I just needed some more sleep, but we will do a nice, calm, relaxing evening tonight. I have one more client and then I'm done for the day. So I will see you after and my soup is looking beautiful. It just looks absolutely stunning. And we'll be having that for dinner so I don't have to prep anything. It's just, I love that for me. I'll see you later, besties. Hello, my gorgeous friends. I just finished all of my client calls for the day. I'm beat. I'm ready for bed and it's 6.30 p.m. But I just blended up my soup and I feel like it looks so good. Oh my gosh. And now I'm just going to add in some of this cooking cream and then I'm just gonna let it cook for a little while longer. 
And I think we're just gonna have this with some homemade bread for dinner, like nothing crazy. So I was craving something sweet, so I just have some strawberries and also some white chocolate. So we've got some tomato soup and some homemade bread and dinner is served. And for some dessert before bed, I'm just having some of these shortbread cookies. They're incredible. I bought them recently and I showed them in my latest grocery haul, which was in like in a daily vlog. They are impeccable. Good morning, friends, and happy Thursday. I have two clients back to back this morning, so I have to make a super quick breakfast and also a cup of coffee. A Nespresso package came today, so new coffee flavors, always so exciting. So most of this coffee is for Andrew because he drinks a lot more coffee than I do. And he just gets like a bunch of, I don't know, like not specialty coffee. But I ordered a specific flavor that I wanna try today. And the flavor that I got is called vanilla custard pie. Yeah, that sounds amazing. So let's brew a cup. All right, time for the taste test. I also added in some cream and also a little bit of agave because I don't know, I was in the mood for something sweet. It smells, it smells like coffee. So that's really nice. It's really subtle, which I like, I would recommend. For breakfast today, I just threw together a super quick granola bowl with some of this like iced coffee granola coffee, yogurt, and some sliced banana. I have to eat this super quickly and then have my client call, so I will see you guys soon. For lunch today, we are bringing back a fan favorite and the fan being myself. But if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that my favorite food ever are bagels. These are the best bagels in Montreal. The best, so good. And I'm just going to add some salmon on top, some cream cheese, as well as, what is this, red onion. It's gonna be so good. This apple also looks incredible and it sounds wonderful, so that too. My favorite food. <gasps> Look at how good that looks, that thick layer of cream cheese, oh, the delicious salmon. It does not get better than this, the best. I also have some leftover coffee from this morning because I'm a very slow coffee drinker and I love to turn it into iced coffee. So I'm gonna show you something that I do. So I just take a little glass jar or a glass, whatever you want. I just, there's something about drinking out of jars that I just, I love. And I'm just gonna pour in the rest of my coffee. And then I'm also going to put in a little bit of this chocolate soy milk just to make like a iced mocha, you know? So pretty. Put a little stir. It's so good. I'm gonna watch an episode of The Fosters. If you watch The Fosters, okay, if you do, um, please comment down below or send me a message over on Instagram just about what you think of Brandon and Callie's relationship. Because for me, it freaks me out and it makes me uncomfortable. I have not finished everything. I think I'm on like season two. I'm on season two, but it still freaks me out. So let me know what you think. But I think I'm gonna watch an episode, work some more, and yeah, that's my day. Hi besties, we're gonna have dinner in like an hour or so, but I'm hungry right now. So I'm gonna eat. And for dinner tonight, we are going to be having a mushroom risotto. So I chopped everything and have everything laid out so it's super easy later. But this is my snack for right now. I just have some cheese, hummus, and crackers. Dinner is ready, and this risotto recipe is incredible, impeccable, breathtaking. The recipe is going to be linked in the description, but oh my goodness, wow, 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 wow. I'm gonna watch some of The Office and eat this, and then I think I'm gonna go to bed and read. I know I tend to overcomplicate, but this time I know we belong. Yeah. I feel the temptations taking over my body. You know you're my one and only. 
Good morning friends and happy Friday. I wanted to make something a bit more fun for breakfast and I saw something, excuse me, on TikTok that I wanted to try. Pancakes, but using cake mix. I thought that this would be so much fun with funfetti cake. So that's what we're gonna do. It's basically just a little bit of cake mix, some eggs and milk. Um, and yeah, we just, we see what happens. Got our bowl, got our cake mix. I really don't know what to expect with this at all. Some eggs. By the way, my tip, if you want to crack an egg with one hand, is smash it on a flat surface like this. And once you smash it on that flat surface, there's going to be a little bit of a hole. You're gonna put your thumb in there, hold the egg firmly, and just lift your thumb. And then the egg goes in the bowl. Then we're gonna add in a little bit of milk. I feel like I should have used a bigger bowl. That's so pretty. So this is what the mixture looks like right now. Oh my goodness. Basically just looks like cake batter. And I think I'm gonna make a couple in here and then we'll do a little taste test. Okay, it is not the prettiest thing, but does it taste good? That is the question of the hour or of the week. I'm truly unsure of if I should like put maple syrup on this, like a regular pancake. Um, so I'm gonna try one bite without and then one bite with. But I mean, this was definitely really easy to make. So let's see. Mm. This is definitely sweeter than the average pancake, but I like it. We're gonna try it with syrup. It's also good. I think I prefer it without the syrup, but I like it. I think this is like a super fast and convenient way to make like a interesting cake pancake, right? If you have a craving for cake. But I'm not sure this is hitting the spot for breakfast, so I think I might have a bagel instead. So for breakfast today, I'm being a bit boring. The pancakes were just, they were a bit too sweet for me, and I realized as I ate them that they just weren't what I'm feeling, and that's on intuitive eating. But yeah, so I'm just having a bagel half with butter and the other half with, as y'all know, y'all already know, thick layer of cream cheese with some wonderful salmon, so. That's all we're having right now. For lunch today, I went with something super simple. I was in a like snacky mood. So I have some toasted naan, a bunch of tzatziki because I'm dipping everything in there, some cucumbers, bell peppers, and some cheese. I told you to shut your damn mouth when you said you weren't strong enough. Did you wanna bring me down? But we're already falling. You've got your baggage and I've got mine, so what? I love you the most. I was watching an episode with the Fosters and somebody ordered a Shirley Temple and I've never had a craving so strong in my life. I do not have maraschino cherries. I do not have Sprite. Um, so this isn't going to be a true Shirley Temple. So I have a little bit of ginger ale. I'm gonna pour this into my cup. My siblings and I used to get these on like special occasions at restaurants and it's just, I don't know, it's exciting. And some grenadine. That's about it, you give it a mix. To me, ginger ale and Sprite are essentially the same, but I know that they're not, deep down. Not bad, not bad at all. It really hits that craving. I made some oatmeal raisin cookies, which in my opinion, are super underrated. I don't know why they're hated on so much. Oatmeal raisin is amazing, amazing. But I'm gonna have one of these. It's incredible. Bring me down, but we're already falling. Good morning, everybody. Today is actually Monday. We're just going to continue the what I eat in a week video from here. On Saturday, it was my dad's birthday. So I spent some time with him. I drove to Costco, I picked him up some things. I was just so busy um, and I really wanted to be present for his birthday. So I left you guys at home. And then on Sunday, I just had a lazy day where I did nothing, absolutely nothing. So on Monday, we are just going to continue our little what I eat in a week video. 
I got up at around 7.30 this morning and I took Tabasco on a nice long walk and I just got ready. And now I think I'm gonna make like a pre-breakfast. For our main dish or for lunch, um, I made some homemade bread. I'll give y'all a little sneak peek. Actually rising quite nicely already. But I did see a recipe on TikTok that I really wanted to try. So we will make that at some point today. Oh, there's these like little fruit flies in my house and I just have to kill them. I just have to make a vinegar trap, but I, I haven't done that yet. Anyway, I'm hungry right now and I'm not gonna wait for this bread to rise so I'm gonna make a little bit of a smoothie while I just do some work this morning and then we'll just make our loaded toast later I'm going to start my period very soon so I'm going to add in oh my goodness my elix cycle balance this is not sponsored I've worked with them before but I do continue to use it because I feel a massive difference with my cramps if you're interested in trying it I'm going to leave the link down below smoothie is so good next week by the way i think i'm going to film a week of breakfasts so if you have any recipes that you specifically want me to try or share with me or your favorite breakfasts then just leave them below and i might pick and choose a couple of them as well as my own but look at our bread she rose so incredibly nicely i'm gonna put this in the oven and then we're going to make some delicious i don't know really what this is like lunch second breakfast I'm not sure. And it also doesn't really matter because I can eat whenever I want. I don't have to stick to meal times or whatever it might be. See, so, yeah, let's do this. I think we're gonna go for a circular loaf, which is not something I tend to do, but let's do that. There we go. Oh my goodness, she's, she's an interesting looking gal, but we love her. The bread just came out of the oven and it smells so incredible. So it's about time I explain what I'm going to be making for lunch. I'm going to be making avocado toast and I saw this recipe on, I think it was, yeah, it was TikTok where somebody took a hard boiled egg and then they grated it onto the avocado toast. And so that's what we're going to do. I've never grated an egg before. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but this bread is incredible. So. As a backup plan, we will just have bread for lunch. So let's do that. Listen to that sound. Oh my God. Wow. That is incredible. And there's so much steam coming from her. I don't know if you can see that. So first things first, we have our sliced bread over here and we're gonna add a little bit of mayo. Next, I'm gonna take an avocado and I'm gonna cut it this way because I feel like the top is bad. So. <laughs> This is what we're doing today. It has these dots again. I really don't know what those little dots are in an avocado, but we're gonna roll with it. Some garlic powder, some pepper, and also some salt. I don't have any lemon juice, but if I had some, I think that that would go really well. I'm gonna add our delicious mashed avocado. As you guys know, Avocado toast is really not my favorite. I don't hate it, but it's just, I normally wouldn't pick it. But this recipe just looked really, really good. We have our avocado toast and now it's time to grate our eggs. I've literally never even thought about grating an egg. So we'll see how this turns out. Also, I really don't know how people come up with new recipes. Like people are just, they're geniuses. This is very strange to grate an egg. Oh my God. So now it's time. <laughs> to attempt to add our grated egg on top. So there we go, that is our avocado toast for today. I feel like this looks pretty good. So we've got our homemade bread, our avocado, and our grated egg. Here we go. That's actually so freaking good. The bread, the egg, I would highly recommend. It adds such a nice fluffy texture. I will definitely be making this again. Hi 
Hi besties, I hope you've done something kind for yourself today, but I'm just making some fajitas for dinner. I have the peppers, the chicken, and the onions in a spice blend over here. And I also just have some tortilla wraps, sour cream, of course, y'all know I'm a sour cream gal, and some, what is it, salsa, cheese, and lettuce. Recently, something that I've been doing that has been helping me tremendously um, is prepping dinner a little bit earlier on in the day. So today I had like an hour in the afternoon and I just, I grated the cheese, chopped the lettuce, cut the chicken, peppers, and onions so that when it was dinner time, I literally just had to throw things into a pan and season them and pull like the cheese and lettuce out of the fridge. And that is something that I've done a little bit this week and it's helped me so much because by the end of the day, I'm so tired. I am much more of a morning person, an afternoon person. I feel like I have so much energy and I feel like I'm so joyful. And then evening creeps around and sometimes I turn into a little gremlin. I would say to ask Andrew, but he's never on these vlogs, but um, I turn into a little gremlin. I'm like hungry and tired and it's just time for me to go to bed. So the last thing that I wanna do is just chop a bunch of things up. Anyway, I thought it might be a helpful tip for one of you. Dinner is on and I'm so hungry. So I'm gonna put together a fajita, show you what it looks like, and then I'm going to eat it and watch The Office. I love The Office. Dwight is my favorite character. And John Krasinski, who plays Jim, my celebrity crush wonderful and dinner is served oh my goodness look at all of that sour cream seriously heavenly and to finish off the night i'm just going to have a couple pieces of this lint chocolate good morning everybody and happy tuesday and welcome to the last day of this what i eat in a week video i'm not sure what i have planned today so i guess we're just gonna roll with punches and see what's what i straightened my hair today for the first time in probably like five years. So I don't know, I think it's cute. I was wearing something super cozy today and of course my Ana Luisa jewelry, which I'm always wearing. Arlie is coming inside, good morning. Good morning. Do you wanna say hi to the vlog? Hey. Good morning. You're such a good puppy. You're such a good puppy. I went to my dad's the other day and he gave me some of my mom's old jewelry and I wanted to share a piece with y'all. I know this is like a tattered old box and I really hope that the camera can focus. Can we take a second to admire this necklace? It's so pretty, like the camera does not do it justice at all. So I have a bunch of new jewelry and then I also have these vases. I kind of have to give them a little bit of like a clean inside but I thought that they were so pretty and I really thought that they would go so well with the painting over there. My mom also used to love little knickknacks and so my dad gave me some of my little childhood knickknacks so I'm gonna try to find a place for those. But look how cute, oh my God. Anyway, I woke up today at around 7.30 and I did a quick workout and I'm gonna try to get a lot of work done this morning so I'm just gonna make a very quick smoothie. Um, and again, I don't know if this is breakfast part one <laughs> or just breakfast. Sometimes smoothies are enough and sometimes they're not and I just let my body tell me uh, what's what and if I need more. I'm not sure if anybody would be interested in like a walkthrough of like an intuitive what I eat in a day. So what I mean by that is how I make my decisions about food, some questions that I ask myself beforehand. If this is something that would potentially be helpful then let me know in the comments down below because I'd love to do one. So yeah. Anyway, let me know, but smoothie time. And I have frozen bananas now, so I'm so excited. When our friends talk about you, it's hard to drown them out. Cause borrowing your dreams has left me lonely now. And I lost a part of myself that's begging to be found. So I say thank you for the Sunday. Breakfast to serve, baby. I step outside, take the news and go back in. I step outside, take the news and go back in. I have some buttered toast with some honey. This was my mom's favorite and every time I have it, it just reminds me of her. So there we go. Mm -hmm. If you've never had honey and butter toast, Please do that this week and let me know what you think. Hello friends. It is much later as you can see. I went on a walk with the dogs. Today has just been such a weird day. I feel very off and I don't know why. Like I feel fine mentally, I'm not sad. I just, like my brain is not here. Maybe I did not get enough sleep, but I've convinced myself multiple times that today is Wednesday, 
even though I know it's Tuesday. My meals today are not very inventive um, for this meal. I don't really know what it is. Late lunch, early dinner, snack, whatever you wanna call it. I'm just having a leftover fajita. I really crammed this one. I'm definitely gonna have to eat it with a fork and knife, but we do what we do, you know? But look at her, she is perfect and wonderful. And yeah, some days we just have super quick, easy recipes, and then other days we make homemade bread and elaborate dishes. It just, it really depends on the day. But I'm gonna watch The Fosters, I'm gonna eat this, and I'll update you throughout the night because I'm sure I'll have a snack or something like that. Good morning, it is the next day. Um, today is Wednesday and I feel like we ended on the most like uninteresting day yesterday. I didn't make anything fun. It was basically just a bunch of leftovers and like quick things. I ended up having some candy last night, but I had the worst sleep of my life. I'm pretty sure I got like three hours of sleep. And today is a big work day. So I've got a long day ahead of me, but if you have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope that these videos give you some inspiration when it comes to meals, gives you a sense of safety to see somebody have a good relationship with food and I also hope that you know that it's possible to have this kind of relationship with food even though you currently struggle or have struggled in the past food used to be something that brought me so much anxiety and now it just doesn't it's not on my mind 24 7 I have so much brain space for other things so if you are debating recovery or on the edge or just afraid to take the first step then this is your sign it is your sign, okay? Start now, start today, and start prioritizing you because you matter, even if it doesn't feel that way sometimes. Anywho, I really hope to see you in my next video and make sure to do something kind for yourself today. Bye, friends.